In today's video, Aljamain Sterling explains why he hasn't signed a contract to fight TJ Dillashaw, Donald Cerrone responds to Anthony Smith's accusations, Sean Strickland goes crazy on a sparring partner, Tony Ferguson sends a message to his crew, Zabit Magomed Sharapov reveals why he decided to retire from MMA, and Glover Teixeira sends a message to his fans. Let's roll. On late Wednesday night, it was reported that Eljamain Sterling was set to fight TJ Dillashaw at UFC 279 on September 10th. However, on Thursday, he took to his YouTube channel to reveal he hasn't signed his contract and is holding out for more money. Here's the clip, and you can check out the full video on Eljamain's YouTube channel. Link can be found in the video description below. But the one thing I want to disclose was that there is no fight until there's ink on paper. And as of right now, my contract is exactly the same. And uh, usually, when it's not a title fight, when you win a fight, there's an escalator. There has been no escalator in this fight. I like to think that I played my part, did the right things, and uh, even allowed myself to be the, va the bad guy in the last outing with Piotr Jan and uh, helped play up the storyline. So one would think that being a company man will actually help you in the long run. So I did my job as of right now. I'm training, hoping that we come to some type of agreement to give some type of pay bump, which naturally happens in all the contracts. So for me, I want to make sure we get the deal right before we just jump into another fight, because at the end of the day, I climbed through the ranks, I worked my ass off, and I played my position in terms of helping to promote the fights, which a lot of these guys don't even do. I'm here to be a company man, and at the same time, I wanna look out for my best interest. Last month, Anthony Smith shared a story on the Believe You Me podcast, where he talked about how his family had a run-in with Donald Cerrone at UFC 235. While Anthony Smith was warming up for his fight with John Jones, his family was apparently kicked out of their seats by an intoxicated Cerrone and Dan Bilzerian. For his part, Bilzerian denied the accusations. Now, Donald Cerrone, who fights Joe Lauzon at UFC Austin this Saturday, gave his take on the story. He said, For one, I saw Anthony a couple times and he never said anything. So why he waited for three years to go by, I just don't know if he's trying to stay relevant, why he would bring that up. You know, because you go to the fights, your name is literally on your chair in Dana's section. It's not like you can just free range walk around any seat you want and be like, get out, you're in my seat, or get out, I want to sit there. And if they were and we kicked them out, how did we find another seat? The whole story doesn't make any sense to me. I don't get it but I'm not sure where he even fabricated this story from. It's funny to me and then to say Dan was in there watching. That means after we threw your grandma and mom out of their seat, they sat behind us? It's strange to me, so I don't know. UFC middleweight Sean Strickland, who is known for crazy sparring sessions, has posted a new training video to his Instagram where he goes crazy on his sparring partner. Here's the footage. Crew, quick message from the champ. You're going to have good days, and you're going to have bad days. One foot in front of the other, the mother Get some. Yesterday, we reported that Zabit Magomed Sharapov has informed the UFC about his retirement. Now, Zabit took to social media and explained his decision to retire from mixed martial arts. He wrote, Assalamu alaikum, friends. I know that many of you were waiting for my return. 
There was not a single day that someone did not ask, when is my next fight? But I decided to end my pro sports career. Disruptions of fights and then health problems, all this did not allow me to perform and fight earlier. I have recovered now, but I don't feel the way I used to. Thank you to everyone who has supported me for such a long time. I didn't have time to become a champion, but I think even without this, I hope I was able to please slash entertain you. I ceased to be an active athlete, but I do not leave the sport. I have something and with whom to share my knowledge. So don't say goodbye, friends. Zabit has not been in the octagon since November of 2019, where he last defeated Calvin Cater via unanimous decision. He was later scheduled to match up with Yair Rodriguez in August of 2020, but Yair had to withdraw due to injury and the fight was never rescheduled. Glover Teixeira suffered a submission loss to Yuri Prohaska with just 28 seconds left in the fifth round of their thrilling championship bout last Saturday at UFC 275. Taking to his social media a few days after the bout, Teixeira said that he still wants to go after the belt and sent the following message to his fans. Hello guys, good morning, let's go after, let's go after, you know, it is what it is, accept everything that comes in life with joy and peace in your heart, go after every day, wake up in the morning happy and glad and, and grateful that everything happens to you and go after another journey, just a journey, enjoy the journey, this is my journey right now, detox the body, recover all this and be ready for the next one, go after, go after the belt again, go after the rematch and uh, see what happens, whatever happens, I'm already glad. Also here are the top three memes you guys posted on MMAMemes.com. In third place is a meme posted by user Usual Monkey. Second place goes to Benny Benassi. And the number one voted meme was posted by a user named UFC Legend. If you want your meme to be included in our next video, Go to MMAMemes.com and create your own meme. The top three memes will be placed at the end of our video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.